What? Yo! Holy crap! Gundrick said it was 44 tiles! <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, welcome. I uh, hope you're having a nice day, whether you're watching here in the stream or you're watching in the future in the form of a video. This is a map you've probably all seen many, many times. It does look a little different, doesn't it? But this is Pilgrims. And the basic concept of Pilgrims is that you don't start with the base, but you start with some people, you start with some settlers, and you start with a transport ship and a king. Now, in this game mode, all the other crazy things that you have to worry about, like relocating and sniping and alliances and enemies all those things still are very much in the back of your mind but if a king dies it explodes that's right the last time we did this was july of 2019 it's been a while a shout out to gundrick who's actually in this game for for getting it on the definitive edition it feels like we're getting ever so closer to peak community games again for all the people who like those community games because we have spec yes. chat now we can see people type thank you to the devs for that recent edition Got some cool maps coming. And even the way that I spectate is going to be changing soon, which I think will be better for everyone. So I'm really excited about that. Happy to have people here and involved. And it's got a little bit of a countdown. So if a king dies, what happens is it turns into a goat carcass. And the amount of food left on that goat as it decays <laughs> is, is kind of the countdown. So we have to pay very close attention to that. So in the gray, over here, we have Sir Explosive Hopper. And Sir Explosive Hopper is playing as the Byzantines. And he traveled a very, very, very long distance all the way over here. And dropped that TC. Is there Portuguese in this game? Why do they why do they see everything right now? Wait a second. Is there Portuguese? Let's do further introductions. Maybe we'll find out. Here in the purple. We have Lambert. Lambert playing as the Britons. Lambert also collecting a lot of turkeys. Britons have a sheep or turkey bonus, so that's pretty cool. The TC going up there for Lambert. Not bad, not bad. Doesn't seem like there's much uh, much space here. Seems like there's a lot of wood lines on this map. And way down here, we have Sally. But Sally actually TC'd the starting island, and I'll talk about that in a sec. Sally, a very big community game player here, recently played in the... Uh, the nuke town, so is very used to the explosions. Sally Saracens. Uh, in the blue, we have Tristu playing as the Franks, which is funny because they went random civ, and I believe Tristu is actually French. Uh, what are the odds there? Good civilization to have, good player, plays in community games, semi frequently nowadays. Uh, in the yellow, we have a villager from Trebuchet uh, what? <laughs> who's playing as the Cumans. And also TC'd here, so I think must be waiting for some wood or something so that Bill has a job. A uh, red uh, needs a spot. Red right here is is named Cold, playing as the Malay. It says my base is so cramped. And oh, red can't pass because of the gold, guys. Look at this. Red can't pass because the gold is blocking it. That is so unfortunate. And I must be missing some people. In the teal, we have Royal Barcelona Trading Company. Which I looked up and is apparently a trading company that existed in the 18th century. And I don't know anything more about it except to say it seemed like an advertisement. We have we have Spanish here. Whoa, what are the odds, dude? The Frenchman is French. We have the Barcelona Trading Company is Spanish, and they went random civ. What's next? Did I miss anyone else? I think Lambert's the only one. I don't know enough about Lambert. Lambert's here. Oh no, we talked about Lambert. Yeah, I really don't know if this person has uh, any British ties, but that would be pretty funny. Like even even just the fact that we have the Barcelona guy as Spain and, and the Frenchman as Fran as at French uh, blah 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 as French. Sorry, I can't speak. Uh, is quite nice. So I said this already, but it was before we got into the game. So people who watch this in the video later will will get to hear this now. Uh, what I really want to see is I want to see someone commit suicide to kill someone else. Um, there was a game two years ago where one player did that and killed three others. So, killed himself, killed three other people with a chain reaction from all the kings exploding. And I couldn't upload it to YouTube because that person had a very, very edgy, controversial name, which I found out later, which made me so upset because it was such a good moment. So uh, maybe we'll see some of that here. But just think about it. Let's say you don't think you have a chance. 
maybe someone's bullying you, be like, fine, boom, and just kill him. What's up, Poohy? Nice to see you. What's up, Dan? Again, Henry the Lion. This is Pilgrims, but it looks a little weird, right? Got, like this little water aspect. It's a little different from what we've seen recently. All right, uh, Gundrick. This is bottom score. I still got it, I see. That's funny. So, Gun Gun blah, 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 blah. Gundrick, guys, uh, has been a longtime supporter of this channel. But when the Definitive Edition came out, he pretty much... He kind of stepped away from the community because community games weren't as fun because, you know, just DE things. Came back a few months ago. Now we have Spec Chat. He made this map for us, so he's back in business. It's nice to have him. And I know a lot of people had said as well without Spec Chat that they weren't really enjoying community games as much, so I'm happy to have him back and anyone else. Oh, Gundrick says, Oh, yeah, forgot to mention, due to how explosions work, no heavy demo. Well, that's nice of him to mention that. And Sally says that makes me sad. <laughs> Guys, so what Sally did, and this is this is something I should have brought up already, is Sally chose to TC the starting island. And in this version, there's a decent amount of trees there. You've got some resources there too. So it's actually the best way to get a fast start. You can't see it. And, and as I said, oh no, you can see it. Oh, you can see it. Okay, so you can see Sally's pop is there. Sally's at 39 pop, and Sir Explosive is actually managed 40. But I think Sally's going to be liking his position, lots of resources, and then was able to get transports over here. Got an interesting little base. Seems like he's, he's locked himself in here with some resources, so... Saracens are a fun post-Imperial Civ. But passing through some of these areas is definitely going to be a complicated thing for all these players. Like, Green can't pass here right now, because Teal's blocked it off. Red has that big problem with the gold. Seems like these massive wood lines are going to create some, some blockages. That will be a pain for these players. Hmm. TC for yellow. Doesn't he have one already? Yeah, look at that. Kumans can make a second TC in feudal, so not bad for yellow. But yeah, fishing is one of the most important things. So, you see Lambert. You see Lambert's pop isn't great. Lambert, three fishing ships. Five fishing ships. Um, is doing fine otherwise, but... Adding fishing eco is very, very important. Yellow says, boys, I've been so nervous. Has anyone said anything to me? And then he corrects it. He says, guys. I think he's trying to be all inclusive here. I say guys. I mean guy or girl. You know, I'm just like people. Sounds better than saying people. Sally says, I'm sorry. I'm here. Just been a long day. You know. A Gundrick long time no see, my friend. Yeah, I told you. These guys played in community games many many moons ago feels like we're 2019 again man <laughs> hmm. peeps yo what up peeps i used to say that when i was in middle school gray just says hey purple just says hey and they're they're playing the game guys there's not a lot of communication right now beyond that here comes yellow and here comes a batch of ills the, the problem with this approach is that you're eventually going to run out of res, and then all your vills are going to be trapped out there. But it does give you a really fast start. I think it gives you, if it gives you an edge to a faster castle lead, so you can get you know the rest of the, the mainland occupied, I think that's completely fine. But again, kings explode, so we have to pay extra close attention. Also trying to keep an eye on if people are allied. Now, the other thing is... Like, purple doesn't have a market, okay? So no market for purple, and yet purple sees everything. So I think this map is designed so you have free cartography with your allies at all times. And I have to look around and see, uh, maybe there's someone who's not allied. I assume they are all allied together right now. Yeah. But I wonder if you're able to see enemies too. I, I don't think so. But if you can always see your allies, I mean, it's going to be the case anyways once they make their markets, but could use that king offensively all right freaking sally man every single community game trying to play everyone like a puppet here he's, he's the puppet master he says hey yellow talking to you only how are you doing do you want to be friends i know this is a lot all at once <laughs> and now blue is talking to sally he says hello sally and then gray just kind of talking to himself and he says damn it i'm stuck here 11. 
I, I love how sometimes when people are having conversations, one person will just kind of put that information out there. The guys are kind of stuck. Bail? Meanwhile, they're all talking behind his back. Yeah, there's a find king command. Uh, I'm getting used to using it. Wait a second. It doesn't work. Oh, that's horrible. The hotkey doesn't work because the king is probably redesigned so it can explode. I thought we could be friends. We are far from each other. Tristu has always needed to improve in this aspect of his community gameplay. And now he's trying to be friends with Sally. Now Sally's talking to Teal. And Sally says, hey, Teal. So, stop talking. So, I'm trying to, I'm trying to follow the chat. You're talking too much. Okay, let me scroll up. Sorry, freaking out. Hey, Teal, so it looks like your way is my only way out. And then Teal responds by saying, I do see that. <laughs> yes. And Teal says, keep in mind, Teal is named Royal Barcelona Trading Company. I'm just here to trade. Okay, so Teal doesn't even, like... I feel like if someone asked me to be friends, I would say, yeah, let's team up. Let's be bros. Let's be friends. And Teal just says, I'm just here to trade. That's all I want to do. Which could happen from the docks, you know? It's just so amazing. The Spanish also have a trade bonus. Like, what are the odds? Maybe they didn't go random sieve. I feel like this is too perfect. All right. Expanding is definitely going to be important here. I feel like the best thing you can do to expand... Get a bunch of hills, get your wood upgrades, and just chop through the trees. Like, Blue is thinking about trading long term. I, I think that the water is going to have something to say about that trade. Pathing around that will, will be very awkward. So, trade in this game might not be as important, at least on land. Hmm. Guys, is there anything significant to know about the Royal Barcelona Trading Company from the 18th century? Like, without even Googling it, does anyone recognize that? Because I had to Google it. Oh, no. Yo, what's up, Raw? He says, uh, Mr. T-Berry. Don't call me that. He says, have you ever played World of Warcraft? No, I never did. From what I've heard, it's extremely addicting. Uh, and I kind of have an addictive personality. Surprise, surprise. So, I didn't want to get addicted to another game. I, I know my limits. Let me know if I'm crowding your purple. Okay. And purple's like, oh, no problem. You're good. You're good, buddy. Okay, so these people are very wholesome. Very, very wholesome. Uh, Karan, it is not exploding vills. It is not exploding vills. It is just exploding kings, to my knowledge. Gundrick says, man, I don't get notifications from chat. So annoying. I thought you guys weren't talking, Eleven. And then yellow says, yeah, same. Oh, they were talking. They're just not talking to you. That's the difference. They're not talking to you. Oh, I think we weren't talking the last few minutes at least, says Gray. Meanwhile, Sally's just chatting up a storm with individual people. Hey, Teal, so I think my base only has one exit, which is towards you. I hope you don't mind. Let's see what Teal says. I don't know how many of you follow the NFL, but there's a player named Marshawn Lynch once got fined for not showing up to a press conference so then the next press conference he showed up and all he said was i'm just here so i don't get fined for some reason that came to mind when teal said i'm just here to trade <laughs> I'm, I'm not here to actually answer questions or i'm not here to actually ally with anyone i'm just here so i don't get fined i'm just here to trade a really bad trading position really bad trading map because there's not a lot of openings here but yeah The Royal Barcelona Trading Company was ma mainly on water. Same as here. I guess that makes sense, right? But we're not seeing any water trade. I just wonder why someone would name themselves that on the internet. What a weird name. Hmm. Max, is anyone else disappointed with AOE4 AI slash matchmaking? Uh, I've got things that I'm disappointed at or disappointed on with AOE4 that, are, that come well before that. The fact that you, there's no hotkey customization, the fact that they're launching without a proper rank system, the fact that they're launching without a, a proper UI. I think you probably meant to say that instead of AI is a problem, yeah. We'll have to see. Like, I, I really, like, I, I'm going to give AOE4 a chance, and I really want to enjoy AOE4. I think at best, maybe it'll be another game to enjoy alongside AOE2. But 
the fact that they're launching a game in the state it's in right now is, is putting me in a spot where I think I'll only cast it until like it feels like a chore to play for me right now so I just decided for my like mental health you know and I want to be in good vibes good mood when I'm streaming I'll probably just cast it we'll see remember a we too as well was like massively massively behind when it came out de was good units pathing through walls and everything so yo blue don't wall me I'm a friend and blue says gate is open and yellow's like oh okay <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was really funny. <laughs> that was really funny, actually. Purple says, I'll give you relic, and I think he was saying that to Blue, so Blue must have a relic on the way back. And man, is anyone else claustrophobic right now? I'm getting really claustrophobic. <laughs> Jeez, dude. It felt weird hearing your voice over something else. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like, I basically, I've had 50-50 feedback. My worry about AOE4 is, like, I feel like it's going to be good enough to split the community, but not good enough to ever replace AOE2. And so in an ideal world, I guess for the future of, like, I don't know, the, the community, I guess, you could say that hopefully AOE4 would be good enough to replace AOE2, or it'd be so bad that it, it would just, you know, be an afterthought at some point. I feel like it's going to be kind of in between. But more than anything, I, I just, I hate it when games are released and they're not complete. And that's like, that's not even specific to Age of Empires. That is 2021 gaming. And it just bothers me, right? People are going to buy it anyways. The companies know that. So they're just like, well, we don't need to release it with these things. So it's it, it's been tricky. Hey, Purple. He says, Purple. Um, just chatting to you. I am trading with your doc. Just wanted to let you know. Is that all right? <laughs> Why are you asking? It doesn't inconvenience him. Actually, it might be really smart to ask. Because if you ask, then Purple's like, oh, he likes me. Also, the, can, is this trade cog trapped? I want to go to work. No, I can't go to work. He, he's got trade anxiety. Uh, it happens to the best of us. Just commit. Come on, you can do it. I got to go trade. No, I can't trade. I'm going to go do it. Uh, it's too scary out there. Is he getting caught up on the fish? Is he getting blocked by the shorefish? I've never seen that before. Huh. This map is pretty cozy, says Sally. And Gray's not getting a response from Lambert. And so he's trying to ask Lambert again about this trade situation. Remember, kings explode, guys. And everyone's really cozy and close together. Sally's got a lot of idols right now. Probably because he's dip blowing like a madman. We do have some trade on water. And Lambert says, yeah, all right. Oh, he said, excuse me. He says, yeah, all all right. Okay. Interesting. Oh, the trade is gone. Wait, did he take the fish? Oh my God. Did he pay attention to that? Man, I missed it. Dang it. Wow. Okay. First one in the Imperial Age. Oh no, Grace has been in him for a while. I guess I missed that. But now Royal Barcelona Trading Company is in the Imperial Age. Hey, Orange, is it okay if I trade with your doc? Sally says, sure, go ahead. I've lost count of my trading agreements. That sounds like a brag. I'm trading. Uh, bro. Yeah, that's fine. You know, I just happen to be trading with so many people. I didn't even think to ask, honestly. Gundrix says, Royal. And we've got a response here from Royal. He says, yeah. He says, yee. I wonder what he's asking. I, I just, like, think about it this way. You have a king here. Oh, no, that's not a king. That's a villager. Oh, <gasps> sneaky. Sneaky. Gundrick says, hey, Royal. I think you and I should team together if possible. And Teal says to everyone right after that, I am just here to trade. With anyone who wants smiley face. I'm just here so I don't get fined. What a rude timing on that. Like, see? You just you just had someone ask to be your friend, and then you're like, yeah, I'll just extend that same friendship to everyone. I just I don't even really care. And now Gundrick's thinking about the late game. He says, and when the time for trade ends, question mark. 
and Teal says, my only time is trade time. <laughs> God, the amount of unique personality that comes out of community games is astonishing to me. Like, it is definitely the depth of AoE 2 and just how different everything can be. But at this point, after six years of streaming, I'm continued, I'm continually astounded by how some, somehow people can be so different all the time. I mean that in a good way. Okay, and Gray's chatting. He says, hey, Yellow, just chatting to you. You are right if I trade with your Doc. Dude, okay, first off, Doc is spelled D-O-C-K, Doc. It's not Doc as in go to the doctor. Second of all, if you're allied with someone, just trade with them. You're being far too kind. <laughs> but maybe that kindness will help. I don't know. Maybe they won't want to attack Gray later. I've never had anyone ask an ally to trade with them, ever. I've say, I've heard someone say, hey, put a market there so we can set up trade. Or, hey, let's start trade. But I've never had someone ask if it was okay. Now, maybe Gray doesn't realize this, but when you trade with someone, it doesn't actually take gold out of their bank account. If it did that, then maybe you'd want to ask. Like, hey, you know, I don't want to take your gold without asking. Interesting. Certainly the trade is paid off for Gray. And he didn't get a response. Now he says, hey, green. He's just going down the list. Hey, green. I have noticed that some players are not quite as chatty. Can I clean trees to this gold between us? Okay, see, now, now that makes a little bit more sense. Because you don't want green to be upset. You don't want green to worry. Oh, yeah, he's misspelling Doc, because if you actually spell Doc correctly, the game will think it's something else that is very similar to the word Doc. Yellow says, Red, am I only talking to you? And Red says, I have no idea. Hmm. And now, now Teal says, no, I see you. But Teal is saying that to everyone, which is going to confuse everyone. And Gray says, no, you're all also talking to me. What the... Okay, so I think Yellow's talking to everyone. Yellow doesn't know how it works. This is a very confusing chat game. And Yellow says, I'm planning on turning on blue. But he said it publicly. He said, I'd appreciate support. I'm pretty sure it was just established that everyone was hearing what you said. I hope you changed something. Is there a way that I can see? Right now, before Capture Age, there's no way of me, of me knowing. For sure. But I think Yellow just said to everyone, I'm about to kill Blue. And Blue is just like, hmm. <laughs> it's so cute because you can tell he's really thinking about it. He's really trying, but he's not really familiar with the system. I'm cool with you if you're cool with me, though I'd prefer to fight the further people like Orange. Okay. So Yellow turns on Blue. Blue's king is here. So, I, I, maybe Blue did know. Maybe Blue didn't know. I'm not too sure. But Blue's got Paladin. And remember, if the king dies as Blue is running away, it will explode. Blue not. Oh, he's got Petards in the... Oh, wow. Oh, his king is over here. Oh, excuse me. There was a monk in there. Oh, that was a, that was a bait. It was the wrong old man. Okay, so Blue's got Petards. And it's like he wants to surprise Yellow. But I think he might need to fight Yellow head on, as Blue is also losing trade to Yellow's castle. Now, guys, I do have to glance elsewhere because other things might go down. I have to just make sure we don't miss anything. But Yellow seems to be doing a really good job with his attack so far. I am a little surprised to see Blue didn't even try and fight this back. But maybe Blue doesn't feel like it's possible. Here comes the transport. We've got Petards and we've got three Paladins. Where is Yellow's king right now? Yellow's king. Oh, yeah, I can't use the hotkey. <gasps> no way! No way! And this is going to have trade ramifications as well. <gasps> so blue is, like, dying or trying to hold on against yellow. Yes. And now gray and orange are talking things to focus on. Red is here to help and everything. But here comes that transport ship. And inside that transport ship is just enough to finish the job. Red's like, I'm here to help. We're going to finish off blue. And here comes the transport ship. Yellow started off over here, remember. 
Here comes the transport. And Blue, I mean, he's 2v1. So he is holding, but I think he would start to lose ground there. This is where your heart beats a mile a minute. Ba-bum, 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 ba-bum. If Yellow didn't think about this, though, I think Yellow's going to be toast. There's no way that King escapes unless... Oh, he's trying to house wall it. He noticed. <laughs> oh, God, Yellow. You forgot about your King, buddy. Okay, so this will be our first taste of an explosion. Okay, so the King goes down. Yellow is out. Great job from Blue. That was sick. Now, that Water Buffalo is our countdown. You see the food count here? Is it six? Is it five? Now, since it's on water, you can't destroy water. And it's not very realistic. There's no waves or tsunamis or anything that result from it. But um, we will get to see how much damage it does. And I think it'll have trade ramifications because it will destroy everything. And that include. Oh my god, that blast radius is insane! Oh my god, I zoomed all the way out! Okay, so now we know how strong the kings are. And now some trade is not going to work efficiently, right? Because they were trading with some of those docks. So yeah, uh, Guntrick says get down. <laughs> Guntrick's like, everybody get down. <laughs> oh god, okay. Now can you imagine? <laughs> that blast is so big you can see it from the moon. Look at the minimap. <laughs> can you imagine though? If someone's king goes down on the land, because everything is so close quarters here, <laughs> you have to be careful who you kill, man. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I guess if someone dies, you have an idea to, you know, you need to run, but you just, you gotta figure out where they died. Holy crap. That was crazy. That, that was much bigger blast than I expected. All right. <clears throat> Grace says, green sent you half. What did he send? Green is, green might as well be be named, or, or sorry, gray might as well be named Royal Barcelona Trading Company because the trade is nuts. And so I assume he just sent resources to green then. The trading guy is just now trading on water. But it has been trading on land as well. It's kind of terrifying. You don't want to kill something because you know how bad it's going to be for you. I, 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 there could realistically be a massive chain reaction. If the king goes down here, we could then have Teal's king go down, which would then lead to Sally's king going down, which could maybe lead to Gray's king going down. Honestly, they need to snipe. Okay, wh Blue needs to do this. Blue needs to kill uh, Red and just start the whole thing. Now, it might not be strong enough to take out castles. So that's the thing. You might be safe if you're in a castle. I think it takes the castle down. And there's two blasts. So if the first blast doesn't take the castle, if it doesn't eject your king, and the second blast happens, you could see the castle down, but then the king pops out and survives. So nothing's happening. This is getting boring. Talking only to use to Sally. Hmm. Trebuchets and chats this is my first ever community game and I screw up like that. I'm so sad. Oh, it feels bad. Uh, don't feel sad. You gave us a happy moment. Do I feel sad about making three archer ranges on an island? No. I entertained the people. That's what matters. Talking to you only? Do you have a plan for the future? You sound like my mom. You sound like a boomer. You have a 10 year plan? What's your 10-year plan? You ever be asked that when you're like 18 years old in high school, what your 10-year plan is? Like, yeah, my 10-year plan is to avoid answering this question for another 10 years. I guess I'm 28 now, so actually I should have, I should kind of have that down. Uh, yes, I'm thinking on getting green. What about you, says Gray? I was planning teal, but he is nice, so green? Wait, so Gray is going to turn on Gundrick? I thought they were boys. I thought they were pals. Hey, Blue, need help, says Lambert. Oh, yeah, I forgot Red was still attacking Blue. Well, Lambert's got longbows. L Lambert has longbows and trebs and could just kill Red. And we'll see if Blue responds because Blue is in the midst of battle. It's really hard to pick up on chat sometimes. Okay, so it seems like Gundrick is going to be attacked by Sally and by Sir Explosive Hopper. 
And Teal is saying, yes, you can pass. My army requests passage through your domain. Hope you won't mind. <laughs> Sally is so extra. And Teal says, I trust. You know, it is quite fitting that the person named after a trading company is, like, right in the middle of everyone. I feel like that makes sense for, for, for a civilization that relies on trade. Thank you. I won't turn on you, I swear. Okay, well, now you're talking too much. That might, that might make him think you will. And wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. I actually have to pause this because we're missing so much crucial chat. And obviously, this can get out of hand quickly. Gray says, green just FYI, I think orange is coming to you. I will send you res if you need. But the only reason that Sally is going after green is because Gray said to do it. You think about that for a second. Sally said, who do you want to attack? Gray said, I think green looks like a good target. So now Sally's going to green, but now Gray's like, hey, heads up, I'll send you reset. What? Okay. Um, well, let's let's continue, I guess, and see what develops here. Like, I guess it makes Gray look like a good guy. You talking to me only, says purple. And red says, yeah. Okay. So they've got a little thing going on here. Wait, is purple doing the same crap? You want to take out blue, said red towards purple. And purple says, yeah, okay, let's let's go need some action. Oh, blue didn't accept the alliance from purple. Yep. Purple extended his hand. He said, hey, let's be buddies. And blue didn't respond. The carrier pigeon was slow. It got clipped. It got eaten by a, a raven or <laughs> some other, some more predatory bird. And here come the longbows. Yes. And red says, Malay is very hard to kill anyone with, which is true. Grace is one sec making some champs because Sally's going to be making a move, apparently. You know, Sally might just ask questions to see what people do. Maybe, maybe Sally's just trying to feel out if Gray's going to be honest here. Um, I don't know, but I really, I'm just waiting for the explosion. And now Gray is talking to Purple, which is kind of out of the blue. Want to attack Teal with me in green? Teal? Since when is Teal getting attacked? I'm so confused. I, if you want to turn on Sally, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. If you want to turn on green, you talked about that. But where does Teal come into this? I, he's going so many different directions. Lambert's like, yo, what's up? He's kind of busy over here killing blue right now. Now, the king is over here. But, I mean, you got to make sure you get out of there with your army after you kill the king. Huh. Yes, pigeons get eaten by ravens in the teen 90s world. Yes, yeah, sure. Give me a minute, this purple. What on earth is happening? I really hope they don't kill Teal. Literally, all Teal is doing is trading. Teal's not lying. Just adding trade. Teal is like, uh, kind of like a Gaia player. Like an AI player who will never attack. In fact, Teal has is Teal and Green have not killed any units in this game. Okay, now what Blue should consider doing is dropping his king off at someone's base and deleting it. If he could get his king over to like the other side, but he could drop off the king here and delete it, and it would be his way to to yes. take the others out. Also, we have Sir Explosive Hopper with three turkeys in a transport ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh god okay grace says i'll be ready soon give me a few minutes sally's saying i'm ready okay we use green for that no maybe after teal is trusting me okay I i'm trying to i'm trying my best to keep up with diplo chat now blue is saying sally so blue is like pretty much wiped off the map you are my last friend in this world and then Orange says, no blue. I don't want to lose you. Aww. If the king dies at sea, I think there's no explosion. So again, you really want to make sure that you get that thing on land to go off. 
At the very least, if it went off here, you killed their whole army. Why do I have an elite tip check in my castle? Wait. Wait, what is Gundrick talking about? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. The signal there was from him. He says, by the way, Gray. Now remember, Gundrick made the map, so he'll understand the blast radius. Yes. He could just kill Gray with his own king if this happens. Like, I think Gray dies if this happens, right? <laughs> Gundrick says, Gray, do you really want to do that? Do you really want to do that? I'm not sure you want to do that. Okay, Gundrick is completely surrounded. We do have siege onagers here. Sally will go after the siege onagers, though. So it's very possible the green dies. I think Gray's killing himself with this, though. What results from this? If that king goes down... I, I believe Gray will go down. And maybe Teal goes down. It all depends on the castle HP. Actually, all the HP upgrades are in for Teal. Teal might survive. 7,000 HP on the castle. Hey, the king is in there. Purple's is going to go for Teal. Purple, I'd keep your army away from here, buddy. Where's the king? Okay, king is still alive. Gundrick doesn't want to die. Despite, you know... Okay, there's the king. There's the king. It's going towards Gray. Okay, now let it die. Okay, now there's a countdown. Gray, you need to get the crap out of here. And Gundrick says, suck this! He says, suck this right before he dies! And it should make Gray think about this like, uh, you know what? This is a problem. Do I survive in a town center? I'm not so sure. So now he's making a castle. That thing is at two. It's at one. And oh god, I looked away. Um. What? Wait a second. What's happening? Oh my god. Hold the phone. 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 <laughs> I need a second. One moment, please. Okay. A lot just happened. So somehow... The king survives for Grey. I don't understand. I think it was it was because the gather point was set to the right, he survives. Grey is somehow still alive. Where is Teal's king? Does anyone see it? Is it somewhere else? Because purple's attacking him right now. Does anyone see it? It's not in purple. Where is his king? Hold on. Go to Teal's point of view. King. It must be moving somewhere. Where, where is it? I need to know where he is because he's being attacked right now and then we can continue here. I have no clue. I, I don't... I, um, up in the right woods. In the right woods. In the right woods. In the right woods. I don't see it, guys. Anyways, ridiculous moment there. Somehow Teal is still alive and you've got to be very careful when you're sniping kings. Yo, Sebastian, yeah, I have no clue where that is right now. Yo, thank you, Chris, for the sub, by the way. Like, maybe in Sally? Oh, it's in Sally's base! And, and Sally says, please be my guest, just be careful with the king. <laughs> hey, you could force Sally to defend you. Force Sally to defend you if you keep the king in here. Okay, Blue says, Sally, I'm coming to you. And here he comes with his king. And then Teal says, purple, I only wanted to trade frowny face. Wow. That was eventful. And now, you know, things have chilled out a little bit. But like, Gray... Gray has Vils. But he's got a reboom now. And then where's Blue? Where's Blue? Here's Blue. Blue might want revenge or Blue might want to continue. But guys, they're going to run out of resources on the map if the explosions continue. Okay, so Purple says the game has to end sometime. So Purple's oh, basically thinking, let's just be more aggressive here, guys. Come on. Now, Blue, he may or may not have known what happened over here. It kind of feels like he didn't know the full extent of it. He's thinking, let's TC because there's a wood line here. And he's probably going to drop a TC, and then he's going to realize that there's not wood there anymore. <laughs> but somehow Blue is still alive. He's got an army, he's got some villagers, he's got a king. Hey, Blue, we buddy. I'm gonna give you resources, says Gray. That's a good deal! That's actually a really good deal. By the way, mods, uh, someone's posting a YouTube video. 
Oh wait, no, that's actually a viewer. He's sending it to me. It's apparently, oh, it's a psych clip? What? I don't know if that's a, if that's a bot or what, but I actually love psych, so now I'm conflicted. Here's Teal's king. Oh my god, Teal. Is he gonna- No! No! He's dead! And now he doesn't get an explosion! No! I think he wanted to kill Purple and he's out! There's no explosion under the water. Oh, what a throw. Ooski there from Teal. He just wanted to trade. Ripperoni. Okay. Well... That was still a good game from Teal. It was unfortunate there because the target... That's why you don't be friends with everyone, right? Because war doesn't work like that. There's going to be some collateral damage. Blue has moved away with the king. I think Purple knows about that. And Sally says to Purple, between us, you were the strongest. I'll help you, but... Apparently, he couldn't say but without it being bleeped out. Red says Blue in the north. I'll send some units there. Oh, God, there's a demo here from Gray. Okay, they all want to kill Blue. And I think Blue should have kept his king on land. But he, he wants to cling to life, guys. He really wants to survive here, you know? Purple says he got away. <laughs> so Red's going to hunt that down. Everyone's going to hunt this down. Again, I think what Blue should do... And he might not recognize how many people are out for him right now. But he should bring the king here. If he can get there, which is unlikely now... And maybe, just maybe, there's a chance he can go out with a bang. Do not make the same mistake that Teal did. And Tristu to Sally, I'm enemy with everyone else. Well, you're dead, so... Oh, 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 wait a second. Sally says, I'm in a tough spot. Oh, no, Ripperonis, I'm in a tough spot. They really want to kill you, and I'm afraid. But I'm talking with them. Okay, that didn't matter. So we have four people remaining. Gray actually has a reasonable chance because Gray has 40,000 gold. Um, Gray's king is uh, very much in harm's way, but Gray's got a reasonable chance still. Sally has more than reasonable chance. Sally's got amazing Q, amazing pop, and a base. Also has a king, which could explode. You've got purple, you've got red, which seem to be buddy-buddy. And Cold says, I guess there's no explosion in water. Water puts out the fuse. Yes, that's exactly what happens. Exactly the way it works. And now these guys have kind of been talking together, working together, and now they just have to decide what to do. I, I, almost, I feel like they both realize the power of the nukes, and they know if they kill someone, the damage that it causes to them and the rest of the world. So they just decide to sit here peacefully holding each other's armies over each other's heads, realizing what would happen to, to everyone. Sally says, what do we do now? Lambert's like, yeah, I'm thinking. Yay. I don't know what we do. I honestly don't have a clue. Very, very, very peaceful. But man, if we were to play this game again after this, I guarantee you more explosions would happen on land. Putting your king on water is, is quite honestly, I, I would say a mistake. You want to go out with a bang. I fear that red is going too strong, says Lambert. Ready. Is he, though? I guess it's his score. I mean, I would never consider Malay to be very strong in these types of games when there's multiple people remaining. Like, the thing about Malay is that they can last longer with their resources, but their units are not really that good. Hmm. Oh, Gundrick. Dude, you can close the game, buddy. Yeah, so, remember Gundrick wasn't around for most of the Definitive Edition? That issue isn't an issue anymore. The host can leave the game now. No longer do we have to, to make sure the host stays in the game. Thank you for remembering that, though. That's funny. I think Sally has the best position. I think that... I think that the corner position is nice. Like, imagine cutting through here and putting your king in the corner. I guess you might not want to do that because you also want your king to do damage to them. Do we go for it? Purple says his king is probably on land, but if he goes water, it will be tough to get him. And red says, are you and orange friends? I'll have docs. I'll get it. Okay. All right. So it's about to happen here. Gray is taking a moment to get back into the thick of things. 
Gray is getting a lot of text as well. Greek fire. We'll have the cataphract upgrades. I guess he doesn't have any food income anymore. But he does have trade. Thankfully. I have docks. I'll get it. Yeah, for now. Okay. I believe purple. Yes, yes. Purple and orange. Here comes the AI army composition from Sally. They're going to turn on red. And red says, I have no idea what to do at this point. Wait a second. Where is this king? His king is not... Oh, his king is in the TC. That's even worse. He's got a karambit inside the castle. He's got navy. He's got some military on land. He's got upgrades, but he, he doesn't have a lot of production buildings. He's not prepared to take a big fight against two people. And <laughs> Red says, you will smash me, but I'm content to be second right before purple turns on him. Oh, you sweet swimmer child. You really thought that you were friends. And Red says, let's go. And what a beautiful army from Purple. It's great to see longbows working. Got Trebs here as well. The longbows should do very well against the two-handed swordsman. And I don't know if Sally's talking to someone else right now, but clearly Red is not going to be able to do this. Red hasn't turned them to enemy! This happens every once in a while in community games. People forget about it in the heat of the moment. They patrol their army forward. They start making more army, and they forget to change them to enemy. It's like, why are my units fighting? What's going on here? Why is this game not working? It's such a bugged game. And there he goes. He fixes it. Sally's thinking the king might be here. The king is inside. Wait, where did it go? Where did it go? Is it on the move somewhere? Is it on the move? I don't have a hotkey for it, remember. Not in this game mode. It does not work. I'll try and keep an eye out for it. But for now, red lives. If he really wanted to, to to hang on, I can understand him running away with it. He's got the resources. I selfishly, though, would like to see that king go down. Purple just researched treason. Oh, where it might be. Really unsure right now. It's possible it ran down here, maybe. He's got elephants down here. I'm thinking maybe it would be in this area. Wait a second. This is what this is what uh, Gundrick was saying. People who aren't Cumans can make Kipchaks out of their castle. What? Lambert's actually making Kipchaks as the Britons right now. That is a Cuman unique unit. Oh, there's the king. Okay, we found the king. It's in the transport ship. And Red has navy, so Red can survive. I mean, it gives Gray an opportunity to make a move on someone. I think this game will go on for a while because they're going to want to finish off Red, but Red's not going to go down without a fight. Oh, is it because yellow researched cumin mercenaries? That would make sense. Yeah, maybe that's why. Because it gives your allies 10 free elite kip checks. Yeah. I just didn't know that worked in Diplo games, to be honest. I had no clue that worked in Diplo until now. Okay, Gray says, I'm ready, Orange. I See, I think Sally's setting it up so they kill, they kill purple. But Sally's like... Or, or, or sorry, yeah, yeah, so they kill purple. And Sally's like, well, wait a second. We have to actually finish off red first. And red's going to be tough to finish off. Sally doesn't have docks. I thought he said he had docks. Oh, he's got docks here. Okay. He's trying to make more. Gray says, purple, FYI, orange wants to kill you after we finish red. Yes! Purple says, oh, really? Good to know. Thanks. Okay, this is good because Sally tends to start to control people very nicely, but he, he tends to be the puppet master, and Gray is not having it. So I guess they're all going to continue to focus on killing Red, but now Purple knows that Sally can't be trusted. I like that. He's saying, use fires versus galleys. I got my own navy. Okay, that's fine. Gray says... Now, I've got some resources here. It almost seems like gray, purple, and red are all starting to come to, like, the same outlook of we can't let Sally win this game. Not quite yet, because they need Sally. They, they fear Sally. But I think the tide is turning a little bit. And look, look. Gray says, hey, purple, let's kill orange now. Yeah, okay, I betray orange. See? See, and this gives Red a chance to stay alive. 
And this went from looking like red was going to go down to looking like Sally is going to go down. Gray says he is prepping to attack you with that siege ram there. Okay. I don't think... I think that's a lie right there. I, I don't think that Sally is prepping to attack with those siege rams. Unless there's more over here. Yeah, may, maybe, maybe that would be it. Maybe that's what he's talking about. Always kill the puppet master first. It, you know what? It works for like half the game. But then when someone starts barking out orders past the hour mark, I think that's when people start to get tired of it. It's hard to find a balance there. And I wouldn't say Sally's barking, but clearly he knows he's got a plan. And if you just go along with them. Okay, Gray says, Red killed my galleys. I'm going to make more now. And so he's telling Sally, we are going to try and take out Red. But what he's going to actually do is he's talking to Purple now. And he's even giving resources to Purple so they can finish off Orange. Purple has 37,000 gold. He just received 4,000 gold. <laughs> Great. Nice of you to do that. But... Oh, he has 64,000 gold! What the... Here I thought Gray shouldn't have given up his gold. I'm ready. Let's go. This is purple. Okay, so here it all begins. Now, I think Sally is going to struggle to stop this. Um, he actually doesn't have pop on water right now. He's got a lot of idle trade. Oh, he doesn't have a dock, so his trade is stopped. Okay, Sally sees it. Sally knows now. Honestly, guys, it would be very creative of Sally to try... Like, he's going to try and fight back. But I I'm hoping what Sally does is if he is going to die, he recognizes the power the king wields. As Sally says, all right. So he knows. He turns. Yep. He knows what's coming. Sally only with 2,000 gold. Green is dead. And he says, Gray, you survived my wrath. You are worthy to rule. <laughs> so Gundrick from the dead is like sending some spooky vision. It's like Green went to sleep and he had a he had a vision or a dream. And he saw Green, Gundrick there. And Gundrick was like, you will be the next ruler. And now he suddenly starts to believe. And Red says, are you two turning on purple? I'll ally you again, Orange. And Sally's going to make a wonder. And it will actually work. You can see the icon here. So if he completes this wonder, which will only take forever. And then he waits for the countdown to finish. He will win the game. And Gray says, all kill Orange. He making wonder. Yeah, I mean, again, I don't think you have to be too scared of the wonder. It will take a very, very long time to build. But Sally was just basically giving them another reason to kill him because he knows that that's going to be a problem anyhow. Hmm. He is holding right now. Yellow also doesn't seem to realize that if you're dead, they can't see you talking. He says, you got some Trevs in the South, mate. Uh, I, Sally is so far convincingly holding on with the Saracen Cav Archers, the Hussars, and the Bombard Cannons. This is maybe possible for Sally. Look at that cue. Now, what sucks for Sally is that he can't surround the Wonder. You never want to make a Wonder where the sides are obstructed, and about 50% of the sides are obstructed, so even more than that, so he can't actually build it. And Purple was only making Longbows, but I think he needs to be making some helps as well. And Gray... He maybe doesn't have the food to continue with champion production, and you can make arguments that champion art isn't even the play. Now, Red has all this on water now, so he can't exactly help on land either. Is Sally going to win this? Okay, guys, I have a really crazy idea. Sally says, so this is about to become interesting with all caps. What if Gray Onager cuts through the wood line... And then suicides his king just to take out Sally's wonder. <laughs> and then the others win. Am I dreaming too much? <laughs> what if the only way to kill the wonder is if you commit suicide? And then you have to let the other two try and kill Sally. I, it just bothers me. If Sally would have honored her cut here, that wonder could be well past 50% right now. It's such a long time. But the longbows! It might look good. That the longbows kill the bomber cannons, but look at the longbows going down in the process. 
And now purple streps could go down. So Sally really showing his skill here with unit control. And purple and, and gray, I think, struggling there. Red says, I can't really do much, but I'll join the crusade. But holy crap, Sally's holding this, guys. Yeah, Gundrick, that's, that's what I'm saying, man. A king to take out the wonder would be sick. But we don't need to freak out too much about that just yet. The wonder isn't even completed. And there's a 200-year countdown from the wonder being completed. Red, yes. can you give me food? I'll give you gold back. Okay, good teamwork. Purple realizing just how weak longbows are if you don't have a meat shield in front. But man, there's a lot of them. And Red could provide the meat shield. He's got Karambits. He's also got Swordsman. So there should be no way for Sally to win this. There should be no way. But they need to fight at the same time. Right now, it's like gray fights and red fights and purple fights. They need to fight at the exact same time. They need to coordinate. Wonder, it's 75%. Good, good move with the Hussars here to take out the Onagers. Also, the Bombard Cannons will get some hits in here too, you'd think. So, Onagers down. That is so many Bombard Cannons. Ten Bombard Cannons. Now, the Longbows have the same range as the Bombard Cannon, pretty much. So, it is a little tricky here, but I mean, it does depend on the unit control. Like, the Longbows just patrolled in here, and they're, they were attacking the barracks. Again, there's no Meat Shield. They need a Meat Shield here. Hussars, the ultimate Meat Shield... We got onagers here going down. Sally is a one-man army. The wonder is going to be at 95%. It's getting there. Sea drams are also a great meat shield. Watch what happens. The longbows will attack the rams first. You have to focus fire then. Can't believe Sally's holding this. I cannot believe Sally's holding this. This is sick. Okay, wonder will be complete. Let's see if the countdown actually shows up. 99. And 100. 350. 350? I thought it was 200. Well, a couple weeks ago with Relics, it was like 300 or something too. So I think they made changes to how long it takes. And someone told me it depends on the amount of players. So it takes longer to win if there's more players. So 350 years is like 40 minutes game time. Was it 350 last time? I thought it was 200. I, I don't even know. I always forget. I was 400 before? And that was for relics or a wonder? I forget. Anyways, that building, I should note, is is a thousand wood, a thousand gold, and a thousand stone. And now there's a hundred longboats here. Or something like that. But there's also 16 bombard cannons. Yes. Can you imagine? The red says, holy shit, so many bomber cannons. Yeah, I know. And Oh, no, don't do this. Don't do this. No. <laughs> Wait, it might be worth it, actually. I mean, okay. Purple has the resources, so it's worth it. Orange does not have the resources to make more bomber cannons. So I think that for that reason alone, that'll end up being good. But a lot of longbows went down. If he didn't have 30,000 gold, I'd think otherwise. So probably worth it there. But it does slow down the push from Purple because he doesn't have the longbow mass now. And Purple's like, well, bomber cannons are down, boys. If you're red, you're not all that invested in trying to kill Orange right now because you want to keep your king safe and you feel like you're unkillable out here. So that's what's tricky. You should probably delete Navy, but do you really want to delete Navy? No. You don't want to do that. You have to depend on the other guys to be able to do something here. And I don't even know if that's going to happen. Sally could maybe hold this. Sally's KD, uh, 750 kills, 600 losses is what I'm seeing. The thing is, like, straight Hal gets countered by Cavalry. If you go just Longbow, it seems like Hussar are pretty good. So it's that combo of Archer unit and Hussar that's very tough to stop. And any unit on a horse has a whole lot more HP. 80 HP for the Cav Archers, 95 HP for the Hussars. The Longbows only have 40 HP. Albs only have 60 HP. Sally's just got a lot more chonkiness to his army. A lot less fluff. And Sally also has that really good unit control, but this is his first bad fight he's taken in a while. I think he needs to back away. He needs the Hussars and Red was defeated! 
But by who? Who was that by? It was here, right? The king was in a transport, so I don't think there will be an explosion out there. I believe it was gray because when I looked at gray, there was a demo. You see this? There was demos in queue. So I believe it might have been him. And now red says, OMG, game is lagging so much I accidentally deleted my king transport. No! He killed himself! How do you do that? Was he trying to delete idols? I think he was trying to delete idols and he happened to delete his transport ship. Which had the king in it. Oh my god. That good thing no one's watching, right? Good 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 thing this is we can edit that out. Um Purple, send some wood if you can. So now Sally is against two. And he just needs to keep this wonder alive for 270 years. God, that's so many long woods for purple, though. And now Sally doesn't have the Bombard Cannons. You know what they really need is to be fighting in the same spot. Which I guess is tricky. But they need to be fighting in the exact same area. Okay, here comes Gray. He's opened up a spot here. He's going to go in with Rams. And he's going to try and make a move towards the Wonder. I like this because it means that Sally has to split his forces. God, imagine if, if Sally had Bombard Cannons here. Okay, I don't think Sally will do it now. Th that's at least... like I'm starting to realize that they have so much military against him now. I do not think Sally will be able to do it. There's so many longbows. He can't kill them. That's a lot of rams, a lot of helps, a lot of cataphracts. 250 years is a long time. He's only survived 100 years so far. Remember, the king is here as well. He will need to keep that king alive. Yeah, it is funny how we're supposed to have explosions and we've had so many kings die on water. What is that, three? Three die on water of the five that have died. What are the odds of that, right? And all in different circumstances as well. One of the explosions was also out on the island. Man, Siege Ram, such a strong unit, and you can see the Longbows advancing in further and further, and Sally now must realize that the pop is dropping, the space is dwindling, and there's there's probably no way... Ah, maybe I'm speaking a little too soon. I could be wrong. Okay, the king is on the move. The king has run to the TC. Here it comes. And he did pull Bomber Cannons back here, so... Oh, God. The Hussars. Feels bad. The Hussars are all stuck in there. So keep this up. No, don't kill your own castle. Oh, that was risky. Yeah, the, the castle stays up. He maybe could pull his Bombard Cannons over here again. 225 years. I'm very torn on how I want this to go. Like, on one hand, I want to see someone explode someone else's king with their own king. On the other hand, a wonder victory in this type of game is insane. I feel like Sally deserves it. You know, if, if they kill Sally, it'll probably be a 1v1 between gray and purple, of which could be close, but I believe purple would win. But maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Look what Sea Drams do against longbows. Not that they do damage, but they just soak up so many arrows. Sally's just doing that to hold purple off right now as purple comes in with siege finally and then he's he's using his army against gray and gray's telling him like hey the king is over there like we've got to get that king he I think he told he signaled and talked about it a second ago and purple lost all the trebs to the rams finally though we have purple with some melee units of his own there we go if he can get champions out here that's a little different there we go Remember, he needs to get the blacksmith upgrades, too. <laughs> Grace is kill his houses. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the onagers! Sally's got to be careful. He's so distracted, I'm sure. His bomber cannons and his cav archers need to be careful. He goes in with some hussars, though. His bomber cannons will fire still. The castle he goes. Falling back, falling back, falling back. 190. See, remember in the past, it was 200 on the Wonders. And now it just takes so long. I mean, I never thought he'd make it this far. I just feel like there's no way for Sally. 
He doesn't have the unit Q anymore. His pop has dropped way too low. He ran out of food. It's been convincing from him to hold, but I think he would need unlimited resources to be able to do so. He's very far from that, and Gray is really forming a big ball of siege now. 185 is simply too long. So, I want to know if Sally will try and take someone out with him. I don't know, maybe he think, maybe he prefers gray over purple, if he had to choose. And so maybe what he could do is, he could he could send his king towards purple. Purple, his king is around here somewhere. Yeah, it's there. You send your king here, purple probably dies. Or at least it damages purple. At what point do you give it up if you're Sally? At what point do you accept that this is probably the end? I think it's got to be soon. The Bombard Cannons. Oh, no! The Bombard Cannons! <laughs> and Yellow laughs at it. He's like, that was funny. Hurdy, her, her, her. Okay, he's a castle here for Sally. Is he still going to try and hold? I think he may not accept that it's going to be over. The resources are incredible right now for Purple. Incredible, and it's the same for Gray. And Sally says, "Well, GG, guys. I mean, at the very least, do not resign. If you resign, I will rage quit the stream. At the very least, send your king towards their army. Do not send it to the corner. Send it towards their army. Sally. Sally. Oh, he's going into the castle now. Okay." No, 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 no. Do not lose it here. Do not lose it here. Okay, he's into the castle. He is faking it. Finish him. Then we call it GG between us, says Gray. Come on, please. I want to see all these units die. Sally. Maybe he's tempting them to come in closer. Wait, he deletes the wonder? Will they still focus on him? <laughs> now they research trees and looking for the king. He's like, come here, bring me all, bring all your stuff. I just can't wait to see the evacu evacuation, you know? They're sending everything, which I would not be doing. No, 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 send the king towards them. Send the king towards them. Don't blow up the corner of the map. Guys, we want the explosion. Perhaps it's selfish of me. But don't put your king in the corner. Put your king where we can see more stuff die. <laughs> this is this is perfect for them. <laughs> GG guys. GG orange. GG. Okay, they were ringing out with the GGs. Maybe Sally's hoping that they forget about him here. Like purple is who they need. Purple doesn't see it. Okay, research is treason, and now he'll probably see it if he looks. Now he sees it. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Grace is longbow his ass. So aggressive. Longbow his ass. And Sally's out microing the longbows. King goes down. And now they have time to clear out. No. <laughs> I wanted to see. I mean, the explosion will still be sick, but now they have time to clear out. <laughs> Sally says, I was definitely hoping they'd forget about me. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I, I figured that was your strat when you deleted the wonder. I think it, as we see the, the explosion, which could have been so much better if these units would have been exploded or maybe if the king came over here, but... Um, yeah, I think you needed to delete the wonder a lot earlier than that. Like, at that point, you're already losing everything. Okay. Gray says, well, GG. Waiting for Twitch chat to be added on the next update to know what chat wants. I mean, like, in the game? Hey, okay, technically, it's Facebook gaming chat. Get it right. All right, don't get me in trouble here. He says, let's play it out for the audience. What the audience wants is for all the units to die at the same time in the center of the screen. That, I believe, is what the audience wants. I can't speak for all of my audience. However, I believe that is what people would ask for. Now, 
I don't think we're going to see any more explosions because it just wasn't meant to be in this game. We want the booms. We want the big boom. We're going to get some onagers. Now, remember, onagers uh, are heavily outranged by the longbow. So, it is very tricky when you do not have siege onager. Boom! There's a big boom. Boom. Another one. And there goes Purple's King. Now, Purple, tell me you know about this. I think, I think he set his gather point forward. Or maybe he just wants... He knows what the people want. But he sent his king to his death, and we don't get to see an explosion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because there's only one person left. <laughs> oh. I feel... <laughs> I, I, I feel so debated with the explosions, chat. I feel so debated, man. <laughs> we had three kings die in a transport ship. We had one king die in the corner of the map. And we had that king die, of course, near the very end when it was 1-1. But guys, Gray's whole base was exploded. Do you remember that moment where he almost died to Gundrick and Gundrick said, suck this? That's insane to me. The fact that he survived by a tile and lost his entire base and then won the game is something maybe I should have touched on a little bit more. And he had 60,000 gold. Like, what? How? You lost, he lost everything. Um, now... In the future, and I, I, I don't know how how soon this is going to be, but in the future, we will have a way to show highlights uh, like I do in 1v1s. We'll have better ways to show some of these features, so I'm really excited about that. But I think we should all say thanks to Gundrick for making the map again. And if you guys like this concept, I do. I think we should integrate it with other maps as well. This particular Pilgrims was very cramped, which I felt was probably tough for the players, so we could... Maybe rework that, or at least, like, you know, Arabia exploding kings. It would be interesting. Because with any setting that's new, it's been two years since we've done this, so it's not technically new. But with any setting that's new, guys, the first one is always the worst one because people don't really know yet. But all the people who are watching right now are like, oh, my God, I should you should have sent the king that way. They should have done this. And so what happens is that the thinking changes. And the next people that get into the games, they, they have more of a, an idea of how to play the map. It must be tough, though. Like, do you guys realize how bad we sound when people are here playing in a community game, maybe their first one ever, and we're literally like, why aren't they killing themselves? <laughs> why aren't you trying to kill yourself in the first community game you played in four years, person? What is wrong with you? Why won't you just explode and kill your own king? You are just crazy. You know, like, they don't want to die. People want to win. <laughs> it's it's a very different experience for the viewer and the player. Um, is Sally there with the units killed? What a hold that was from Sally, seriously. That was a sick hold. Um, here's the economy. You know, I, I think that Sir Explosive Hopper... Wait a second. He hopped away from an explosion. Get it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, that was kind of a stretch, but I don't know how he had that much trade. I think he and Teal should should swap names. Uh, Royal Barcelona Trading Company, who only wanted to trade in this game and sadly was 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 met with warfare anyways. Um, I, I think they should swap positions because that's a lot of trade profit. 126,000 trade profit is very rare to see. Um... Yeah, these stats don't really matter. Not really exciting. Here you've got the Relic Gold, which, which Red had a few of those. And yeah, there's the timeline. Now, if there were bigger explosions, I think we'd be able to see uh, when the explosions happened based on the timeline, because the timeline kind of shows their populations. <laughs> but I think the best explosion was probably the explosion that happened on the water. And there, I think just a lot of buildings went down. Like, oh, you can see where Teal died, actually. Or where the explosion happened. Yeah, yeah, you can see that was the explosion on land that ended up taking out most of Teal's base. It must suck to be Teal. Teal wanted so badly just to trade. And then at the end, I think Teal tried to do what we were thinking and suicide his king, but the king got sniped on the water. Feels bad. 